Okay. Okay, let's go back to doing the jump half turn one more time. Here we go. Start in patient four. One, two, three, jump half turn, stick. And one, two, three, jump half turn, stick. Good. And we're going to jump face the other way or jump, twist the other direction, stick. And one, two, three, jump half turn, stick. Good job. Now we're going to go full turn. See if you guys can jump all the way around in a circle. Ready, one, two, jump, full turn, stick. Good job, whoa, be careful on your landing. Ooh, good full turn. And here we go, one more time, full turn, stick. Good job, now we're gonna twist the other direction. One, two, three, jump, full turn, stick. Ooh, I didn't stick, no. And one more time, one, two, three, jump, full turn, stick. Good job. All right, this time we're gonna do some tuck jumps and we're gonna do some straddle jumps. And I wanna see how big you guys can jump. Here we go. One, two, three. Tuck jump and lift those knees up really high and stick. Good job. And let's go again. Big jump stick. Good job. And one more time. One, two, three. Jump stick. Good job. This time, straddle jump. We're going to lift our legs out to the side and then back together for our landing. We're going to do three of them. Let's see if you guys can do as big as you can. One, two, three. Jump. Straddle. Back down. Good job. Here we go, one more time, or two more times. Straddle, Woo. good job. One more, jump, straddle. Good job, all right. Let's get some stretching going, because we gotta make sure we're flexible so we don't hurt ourselves. Let's go big straddle, arms up to the ceiling, and all the way down to this side. And we're counting to 20. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And stand all the way up, arms up to the ceiling, and down to the other side. Twenty, twenty seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And reach really high up to the sky and down to the middle as far as you can go, counting to twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. All right, let's go feet together this time. We go feet together, pike stretch. I'm gonna reach our hands all the way up to the ceiling. And one, two, three, reach all the way to your toes, counting to twenty. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job, and have a seat on your bottom. We're gonna go big straddle. Here we go. From this position, one hand to the floor, other hand. Reaching all the way over, touch your toe on the other side. And we're only gonna go 10 seconds on these stretches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're gonna take two hands. You're gonna put one hand on both sides of your foot and you're gonna reach as far forward as you can. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Arms up. Ooh, the other hand on the floor in front of you, reaching all the way over sideways. Good job. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Hands out in front of you. One hand on both sides of your foot. 
and reach as far forward as you can, ducking your nose to your knee, counting to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Reaching up to the ceiling. Reach as far as forward as you can. We're going to see if we can touch the, uh, the floor with our belly button. Count to 10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Butterfly, put those feet together. We got to put our stinky toes together because I'm Miss Ayla. You got stinky toes today. You got stinky toes? Ayla? Uh, yeah, I think Miss Ayla's got stinky toes. Miss Ayla always got stinky toes, right? Or do you think it's my toes? Or maybe it's Andrew and Alex's toes. <gasps> Andrew and Alex, do you guys have stinky toes? No, 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 no. Or maybe it's, we don't have a Sophia today. Or, oh, yes, we do. Is that Sophia? I see Sophia. Sophia, do you got stinky toes? Maybe. I don't know. I think, I think, I'm going to check and see if my toes are stinky. Whoa. -hoo -hoo. Oh, my God. My toes are so stinky! Oh my goodness! They so stinky! Okay, you guys go down and check your toes. Make sure your toes aren't super stinky. Here we go. Smell your toes. Five seconds. Or ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I almost fell over again. They were so stinky. Oh my goodness. All right, let's put one hand on both knees or one hand on each knee, and we're gonna push our knees as far down as you can. See if you can get your knees all the way to the floor. Counting to 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. All right, are you guys ready for some bridges? Can you guys show me your best bridge ever? We're gonna lay all the way flat on our back. I'm turning sideways just so you can see me. Hands up by your ears. And we're going to push and we're going to hold for 10 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three. Push as, up as far as you can. Counting to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Grab those knees. Rock and roll. We're going to counter that stretch from our back and the bridge. We're rocking and rolling. This is also your safety roll. If you fall down, you want to curl up into a ball and you just roll. It's going to keep you from hurting your arms and your legs and your back and your neck and all that stuff. You don't want to hurt yourself. So this is a good position to practice. Good job. All right, one more, or actually a couple more things. We're going to do a quick seal stretch. That's another way you can stretch your back. They're going to go uh, kind of like a doggy position, just like me. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see. So dog position, just like me. I'm gonna go sideways too, actually. Here, you're gonna push your tummy forward, push through your shoulders, and let your back arch backwards. 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. And cat stretch, cat stretch. You can use that to counter that back stretch that we just did. Good job. All right, we're going to do a quick wrist stretch and ankle stretch, and then we'll get to our gymnastics. Hands, we're going to put our hands sideways for this one, and they go right in front of you on the floor. I want to rock back and forth. Here we go. 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. And turn our hands upside down, just like this. Hands up, top of your hand on the floor, and push your, your palms and your wrists into the floor. Your, well, technically your palms upside down, so that's not going into the floor, but the top part of your hand into the floor. Counting for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. All right, we're gonna do a quick ankle stretch. You're gonna go stick your bottom up in the air, you're going to go straight, foot, uh, straight leg, push your heel, that's this part of your foot, this part of your foot, the very top part, 
or the, the bottom, not the top part, the bottom part, and you'll push that into the floor as far as you can with a super duper straight leg. That's gonna stretch your ankle and it's gonna stretch your calf and it's really, really good for you. And we're gonna do one foot at a time, pushing it all the way into the floor. Good job, let's do the other foot. Push that into the floor and you can bend to get a nice stretch. If you bend your knee a little bit, you can stretch your, your ankle a little bit and push it back into the floor. Good job, all right. Let's roll our ankles out a little bit. Roll them out, roll them out, roll them out, and our wrists, ankles and wrists. Good job. All right, we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff today. We're gonna do uh, what I call Spider-Man push-ups. So the first thing, actually, I'm gonna tilt this down just a little bit so you can see the floor. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is some regular or a push-up push uh, drill so that you guys can do a push-up real, real well, okay? You gotta do it completely correct. We're gonna start with just hands and knees push-ups, okay? So we're gonna go straight body, straight out in front of you. So this right here has gotta be all the way straight. From this position, you're just gonna lower down and then back up, okay? That's on your knees. We're not even using our feet yet. So lower down and back up. See if you can do 10 of those. You wanna make your body all the way straight, so don't stick your bottom out. We don't wanna stick our bottom out, okay? We're gonna make our bottom all the way straight and lower down and back up. Good job. Don't let your arms go too wide. If your arms are way out here, see how my arms are really far away? That's gonna make it really, really hard. Try to put your arms right underneath your shoulders, squeezing your bottom all the way straight with your bottom down and up. Let's do five more of those. Here we go. Five more of those push-ups. And one, and two, and three, and four. And five, good job, there's five push-ups. All right, next, we're gonna do a regular push-up. We're gonna have our feet, or our, I'm sorry, our knees all the way straight. Our feet are gonna be touching the floor, and then our hands are gonna be touching the floor. We're gonna do push-ups that way, okay? So just like you would do the, the other push-up that we just got done, you're gonna go to a doggy position, kinda like the push-up we were just at. Flex your toes, put the top part of your toes on the floor, lift your knees off the floor. There's your push-up position. We're gonna do five big push-ups. We're gonna go all the way down and all the way back up. There's one, five of them. Two, three, four, five. Good job. All right, if you guys can do those, then you guys are in for a treat. We're gonna do the Spider-Man push-ups. But right, I'm gonna start back here. That way I'm kind of walking towards you. Okay, so when you do a Spider-Man push-up, you're gonna walk forward with one hand and one leg. You're gonna go push up, and then you're gonna switch. You're gonna walk forward with the other leg and the other hand. So I'm gonna show you from the front. You're gonna go push up up. You're gonna step forward with one hand and the leg, and you're gonna go down, and then back up. Then you're gonna switch, other leg, other hand, and down. And you can cl crawl all the way across the floor, just like Spider-Man. Are you guys superheroes? You guys are superheroes. Alex, Andrew, y'all superheroes, right? Y'all like Spider-Man? I know y'all like Spider-Man. Spider-Man's like my favorite superhero. I'll tell y'all a secret. I know Spider-Man. I know him pretty well. We went, when he went out to lunch last, yesterday. He's a pretty cool guy, pretty cool guy. And he showed me the Spider-Man walks. That's why I'm showing you guys today. So, Spider-Man walks. Let's see if you guys can do it. You ready? Here we go. Push up into that push-up position. Step forward with one hand, one foot. And we're gonna go all the way to the floor and all the way back up. And then switch arms, switch legs, all the way to the floor. All the way back up. Switch arms, switch legs, all the way to the floor. All the way back up. Woo, let me see, I wanna see some people. Miss Ayla, let's see if you got it. Pretty close. Try to switch your legs, do opposite leg, opposite arm. You're trying to do the same leg and the same arm at the same time. So instead of going right arm, right leg, you wanna go left leg, right arm. And then right leg, left arm, okay? See if you guys can do that. Let me see. Oh, pretty good. Sophia's got the right idea. Good, and see if you can travel forward when you do it. Oh, good, Ayla. Very nice. Here, I'm gonna show you one more time from the side. I'm gonna go forwards and backwards. 
So here's your push-up position, right? We're gonna bring this leg up, and then instead of the same arm, so this leg, uh, instead of this arm, we're gonna take my other arm, we're gonna reach that one forward, okay? So my, my, these two arms and legs are together, or close, and the other two are far apart. And we're gonna lower down. And when you lower down, you want your knee to go out to the side. Don't keep your knee underneath you, otherwise you're gonna stick your bottom out into the side, uh, up into the air. Put your knee out to the side, okay? And then we're gonna push up from there. Switch legs, knee out to the side. I don't know if you can see, but my knee is way out to the side here. And then you can push back up and down again, one more. I'm gonna go backwards, okay? It's kind of like you're climbing a wall. Oh, good job. Good stuff. Oh, good, Sophia. Awesome. Good job. All right. Let's move on. We're going to do some forward rolls and we're going to do some regular roll work. Let me tilt my camera back up so you can see me. You know, camera's up. Okay, we're going to do some roll work. We're going to start with four rolls. We're going to do some log rolls too. And when we do a log roll, it's going to be kind of a special log roll. And I'm going to show you how to do it and, you know, all the different tricks and stuff. But let's start with our forward rolls. Make sure you're on a soft mat so that you don't hurt yourself when you go forward roll. Don't do it on hardwood floor or concrete. If you, can, if you want, you can try it outside in the backyard. Um, but you still want some kind of soft mat or carpet or a cushion like a, uh, a couch cushion or your bed, even a mattress, if you have that. All right, here we go. Feet together, arms up to the ceiling. From here, hands go to the floor. Duck your chin, look at your belly button. You're gonna push off your legs. One, two, three, push off your legs. And try to stand up all at the same time. Let me see. Good job. But don't use those hands to stand up. Miss Ayla, I saw that. I saw that. You used your hands to stand up, goofball. Oh, pretty good, Sophia. Oh, that's pretty good. And no hands, no hands. Yeah, Ayla, that was so good. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, girlfriend. Oh, good job, Camille. Is it Camille or Camila? I think it's Camille. I remember that one. Good job. Very nice. All right, let's do three more of those. I'm going to do them with you. Here we go. And one. Look at your belly button. And standing up. Good job. Two more. Here we go. Arms start standing up. And four. Go. And stand. Two. Good job. One more. Here we go. Arms up. Forward roll. Stand up. Whoop. Good job. All right, who knows what a straddle forward roll is? Give me a thumbs up in that camera if you know what a straddle forward roll is. Ooh, thumbs up. We got another thumbs up. Anybody else? Ooh, we got another thumbs up. Nice. Thumbs up. Ooh, Sophia knows what it is. Good. Awesome. Let's do some straddle forward rolls. Start with your legs apart. Hands going to go down to the floor first, and you're going to try to stand up back into a straddle stand. Here we go. Let's do five of them. Arms up to the ceiling. Then we go and push up to that straddle stand. Good job. Okay, Miss Ayla, when you do your straddle forward roll on this one, I want you to try to stand up. You're going to use your hand, and you're going to put your hands in between your legs when you stand up, okay, in front of you. So you go straddle forward roll here. Your hands go right in front of you on the floor, and you push, 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 and then you stand up, okay? Let me see if you can do it. Big straddle, big straddle, big straddle. Don't forget your straddle. There you go. Hands down and push with those arms. Push, 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 push. Good job, very nice. Oh, let me see some Alex and Andrew. Let's see you guys. You ready? Did you push, 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 push? Oh, that's pretty good try though. I like it, good try. Let me see, Sophia. Big straddle. Hands go down, forward roll, beautiful. Oh, use those tummy muscles. Good job, very nice. All right, let's do three more, guys, three more. Big straddle, hands to the floor, and push. Very nice. Two more. Here we go, and forward roll, push. Awesome. 
Two more, or one more, I'm sorry. One more, here we go. Hands to the floor, oh, push. Beautiful, all right. Let's do some handstand work now. We're gonna start with our L handstand. You're working on just getting your leg up behind you. You want your knees straight when you do your handstand. You want to point your toes. Next time you guys come to the gym, remind Coach Marcus that he needs to keep his knees straight when he does his handstand because that's very important, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Big lunge, arms up to the ceiling. Big kick, knees super duper straight, and step back down into a lunge. Keep those legs all the way apart. Let's see them. Oh. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> nice. Let me see. Kick. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. Be careful you don't fall over. Oh, beautiful. Kicks. I like it. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to do a. Uh, a three quarters handstand. Not quite a full handstand. Whoa! Falling over. Be careful when you're falling over that you don't hit your camera. You also don't want to land on anything. So you don't want to go handstand and fall onto a table. Make sure you have a clear space in front of you to work on your handstand. This time, three quarter handstand. When you guys do your handstand, so Sophia, specifically, I want you to really focus on trying to do this when you do your handstand. I want you to keep your body super duper straight. Don't let your tummy stick out. You don't want to arch like this. You want to keep it super duper straight and keep your, keep your hips straight too. If you want to stick your tummy forward or stick your butt back. You want to just keep it all the way straight. So you're going to go arms up to the ceiling. You're going to kick straight body and back down. You don't have to go all the way to vertical. We want to go a little bit up, a little bit up, not all the way. We're going to do three of these. After we do that, then we're going to do some vertical handstands. Let's see what we got. Go feet all the way together when you pick up the handstand. Remember, straight knees, straight knees, straight knees. Be oh, Sophia, that was so good. Very nice. Let's see some more. Oh, I like it. I, that, is that Alex that I see right there? Which one's Alex? Show, give me a thumbs up if you're Alex. Which one's Alex? Are you, you're Alex? Wow. Okay, Andrew, where's Andrew? Andrew, show me a thumbs up. Very cool. All righty. <laughs> That's Andrew. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Let's do a few more of those three-quarter handstands, and then we'll go all the way up to a vertical handstand. Here we go. Three more. And kick. Just a little bit shy of vertical. And back down. Good job. Two more. Kick. Good. And watch your hands. When you kick up, watch those hands with your eyes. Beautiful. Okay, this time we're going to go all the way up to a handstand, completely and totally vertical. Remember that body position. Keeping our body in a completely straight line is the most important part here. It's more important than going all the way up to vertical. Here we go. Five handstands, as vertical as you can. Be careful you don't fall over and bonk your head on anything at home. Make sure you have a clear and open space to do your handstands. Here we go. Kick up. All the way to, uh, to vertical and stepping back down. Good job. Four more. Kick, vertical, and back down. Three more. Kick. Very nice. Back down. Two more. Oh. Vertical. And one more. Kick. Good job. Handstands, awesome. All right, next, from there, we're gonna move on to a few things. We're gonna do uh, some front limber work, some front walkover work, some back walkover work, some stuff like that. But we're gonna start with a wall. So I got this big old box here, okay? You guys probably don't have a big old box, but I don't know if you knew this, but the walls in the gym, like that wall back there, I can't move that wall. So. I'm gonna bring a big old box to me so that I can demonstrate with a kind of a wall. If you guys have a wall at home, go see if you can use just a, a little bit of that wall uh, so that uh, you have something to support yourself. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kick up to handstand, we're gonna put our feet on the wall, and then we're gonna walk our feet down the wall. After we get all the way down to a bridge, then we're gonna walk our feet back up. Remember, do this in a safe environment where you have padding around you, 
and uh, there's nothing on the wall that you can knock down. Make sure there are no pictures, nothing in the way, because you got to make sure you're super duper careful. Good job, Sophia. That is exactly right. Very nice. Okay, so one thing, Miss Sophia, and you did a really good job of this, but the one thing I want you to try and work on, so you kick up the handstand, right? We're in our handstand. We're going to put our feet on the wall. My feet are on the wall. I'm kind of big, so I'm going to scoot my hands back this way. We walk down the wall. We get our feet to the floor. Boom. Now, when you walk back up, so we walk back up, we get into a kind of handstand. I want you to split your leg over just like this. And when you kick off the wall, keep the split and finish in a lunge. So when you kick off the wall, don't put your feet back together. Okay. Keep them split and then step down with that one foot. Good job, Sophia. And split. Whoop. Oh, we're walking down. Good. And split and kick. Beautiful. Very nice. Good, Camille. Let me see, Ayla. Are, is that okay? Are you, uh, do you have a mat to put down or a pillow or something that you can put so you don't bump your head? Oh, the mat? Okay, that, that works. Awesome. Very good. Let's face the wall. Face, face the wall. Where You got to turn around, sweetheart. There you go. And kick all the way up. Can you get your, hand, your feet all the way to the wall? Ooh, big kick. Oh, it's hard. Ooh, pretty close. Try standing up first. Miss Ayla, if you stand up, you can get a bigger kick. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good job, Miss Ayla. Look at that handstand. Oh, be careful you don't kick that. Did you bop your knee? Careful, sweetheart. All right, good job. Let's do, if you have a wall at home, let's do a couple more. Miss Ayla, if you just want to do a regular handstand, that would be great. If it's too hard to do it with the, uh, with the wall, just do it with a regular handstand. It'll be great. Here we go. I'm going to do two more. And a big kick up to handstand. And I'm going to put my feet on the wall, walking down. There's my bridge. And we step back up. Boom. Very nice. Tell you what, I'm kind of heavy, so I'm going to turn this this way so it don't fall over. It almost fell over on me. One more. Kick. All right. Walk it down. Good, and back up, kick, beautiful, all right, good job. Next, after you guys finish your last one, we're going to go the opposite way. This time, we're going to lay flat on our back. We're actually going to walk up the wall with our hands this time. So scoot your back as close to the wall as you can. We're going to bridge up from this position. Don't smack your face on the wall. That would not be fun, okay? Make sure you have a little bit of room between your head and the wall, okay? From here, you're going to take your hands, and you're going to walk your hands up the mat, and we're going to see if we can get all the way to stand. I'm going to take my socks off real quick because I don't want to slip on the carpet. If you have uh, slippery socks and shoes on or something like that, you take them off so that you don't slip so much because you don't want your feet to just slide out from underneath you. That would be terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, here we go. And push all the way up. And I'm walking my hands and all the way to stand. Boom, just like that. Let's see if you guys can walk your hands up the wall. Oh, see, we got Spider-Man people in the, in, in the video class today. I see a Sophia. She walked her hands up the wall. That is pretty cool. Camille's walking her hands up. Beautiful. Good job. Whoa. Ayla, you still a goose. Don't kick your feet. You got to walk with your hands. You goofball. Oh, I see some pretty good stuff over there. Good job, Mr. Jake and Mr. Andrew. Be careful you don't fall over and hurt yourself. Okay, let's do two more of those. Two more. Here we go. I'm laying all the way down. I got to get next to the wall. Here's my bridge. One, two, three. And we walk up and to stand. Good job. One more. And one, two, three, push. 
and walking. Awesome. Oh, good try, Ayla. Awesome. Good try, Ayla. That's really hard. So don't be too worried if you're having a hard time with it. That's a really hard trick. Okay. The last thing that we're going to try with the wall, uh, and this is going to be for those of you who uh, are a little bit more experienced. If you've done back walkovers and stuff like this and you're experienced in trying to do back limbers, we're going to try to go down the wall. Make sure when you're going down, you don't bop your head. So if you're having trouble or you're nervous about doing a back walkover or a back limber, you can use this as a tool to help um, kind of a, uh, it helps you learn and, and get over a fear of going backwards so you don't hit your head on the floor. So you start from stand, okay? You're gonna look back, you're gonna look for the wall, okay? I can see the wall. I'm not falling, like I'm not falling on my head yet, but I can see the wall, okay? You're gonna try and put your hands on the wall, and then from there, you walk your hands down the wall. So here we go, let's try it. Here we go, hands on the wall. Now we're gonna walk down the wall nice and slow. And then when you can see the floor, try to put a hand on the floor. Boom. And then if you want, you can come back up too, okay? Let's see if you guys can do it. Be careful, Miss Ayla, on that one. Beautiful. Miss Sophia, did you go down the wall too? Let me see if you can go down the wall. Beautiful. Good job. Put your legs just a little, woohoo! Put your legs just a little bit apart. You don't want them all the way together. If they're all the way together, it makes it hard to balance. You want them just a little bit apart. Put about uh, six inches of space. Good. Very nice. Don't bonk your head. Good job. Miss Ayla, I tell you what you can try to do if, from stand. If you can go from stand and see if you can look back to the wall. So you're going to go from stand, look, find the wall, touch the wall, and then go back up to stand. Can you do that for me? Oh, there you go. But you got to find the wall with your eyes, silly goose. Scoop forward just a little bit. Scoop forward just a little bit. And then go, uh, and scoot, uh, you, is that a bicycle? Um, a training bicycle or an exercise bicycle. Move over just a little bit away from the bicycle so you don't bonk your head. Just a little bit. Perfect. Right there. Yeah, right there. Right there. Now scoot forward just a little bit away from the wall. You want about a foot. There you go. And then now go arms up. Look behind you. There's the wall. And then one, two, three, stand up. Good job. Very nice. Show me one more time, Miss Ayla. Look for the wall. Boom. There's the wall. Good job. All right. Let's move on. I'm gonna push my wall out the way because my wall's in the way. Hoo, go away, wall. All right, now I'm gonna get a box. We're gonna use a box now. So we're gonna do some box jumps and some bounces and some other things. If you guys have a cushion at home or something that you can jump up to that you're not gonna hurt yourself on, maybe a small couch or, or a, a chair or a cushioned chair, Make sure you're not jumping on anything that your mom and dad don't want you to jump on. If you have a panel mat, a panel mat is great. Fold it up and then you can jump up to that. But be careful you're not uh, doing it on any kind of hard, uh, dangerous surface where you could fall over. Like you don't want to do it on a hard chair. That would not be a good idea because you could fall and hurt yourself on that. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with just regular box jumps, okay? So from two feet... I'm going to go two feet. I'm going to jump all the way up off the floor, and I'm going to land on my box. When you guys are jumping, be careful you don't fall backwards because you don't want to trip over and, and fall on your back on the floor. That would not be uh, good. So here we go. One, two, three, big jump up, land on the box, and stand up tall. Good job. I see some good stuff going on. Awesome. When you jump, you want to jump with two feet. Good, Ayla. Jump two feet as high as you can. Pick those knees up and get all the way up on top of that box. Have your legs apart just a little bit when you jump. You don't want to be in a full split, but you do not want your feet all the way together. If your feet are all the way together, it makes it hard to balance. You kind of fall sideways a little bit, okay? So make sure you stand nice and, the, uh, nice, nice and central with your, your uh, body weight and your legs a little bit apart so you have a very nice base to balance with. Here we go. Ten times. Big jump. There's one. And big jump, two, and big jump, three, and big jump, four, and big jump, five, and big jump, 
Six. And big jump. Seven. Here we go. Big jump. Eight. Two more. We can do it. Big jump. Nine. One more. Big jump. Ten. Good job. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some, some bounce up jumps. Okay. Now, what I mean by bounce up jumps is we're not jumping with our, our legs. We're going to jump with our toes and our ankles. Okay. So you're going to start a little bit further back. You're going to jump just to the, the floor right behind the box. And then you're going to bounce off the floor and land on your feet. So here we go. It's going to look like this. You're going to go arms up. One, two, three, jump, bounce, land on the box. Okay. So it's almost like you're doing two jumps. First jump, you're going to jump to your jumping position and then you're going to bounce like a trampoline. Here we go. One, two, three, jump, bounce up to your stand. We're going to do 10 of those. Here we go. And jump, bounce. Good job. There's one. Jump, bounce. Good job. Two. And bounce. Three. Here we go. Bounce. Four. Six more. Boom. Five. Halfway there. Good job. And bounce. Six. Four more. Bounce. Seven. Eight. Two more. Almost there. Nine. Last one. Bounce. Ten. Good job. All right. Bouncing is going to be very important when you guys go to do some tumbling and some other harder gymnastics skills, specifically for the floor, specifically for the vault. There's a lot of different skills that you use um, that technique on. When you hit a springboard, you're running down the vault way as, way as fast as you can. You jump onto that springboard, you push through your toes, and you're going to bounce off that springboard. Okay? That's why this is so important. So it's really good to practice this. Okay? Now, it might be a little bit hard at home because you don't have a spring floor, but any kind of bouncing, pushing through your uh, ankles like that with your calf muscles, that's going to help you exercise those muscles so that when you get back to the gym, you're going to be bouncing all over the place. It's going to be fantastic. Okay? All right, moving on. We're going to do the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to work on our cartwheels a little bit. We got about five minutes left of class, and we're going to do both legs. We're going to do side cartwheels and we're gonna do cartwheel step-ins. And we can do some front, uh, front to back cartwheels soon. Here we go. Starting with your good leg, we're gonna go all the way side. We're gonna start with the side cartwheel. Cartwheel all the way over the, uh, to the other side. We're gonna do five on both legs. Here we go, one, two, three, tick all the way over. There's one, good job. I'm gonna walk back, I'm gonna do four more. Kick all the way over, there's two. Big X, make that X position for your cartwheel. Don't run into each other, please. You don't want to kick each other. That would be bad. There's three. If you have a partner doing gymnastics with you, make sure you take turns. Here we go. X position, kick all the way over. There's four. One more. Kick all the way over. There's five. All right, now we're going to switch to the other leg. You want to do both legs. So if that was your good leg, we're going to switch to your other leg. Use your bad leg. Here we go. Big X. Going the opposite way. One. Big X. Kick all the way over. Two. Big X. Three. Good job. Two more. Big X. Four. One more. Last one, guys. Big X. And five. Okay. Now we're going to move on to our front to back cartwheels. Who knows what a front to back cartwheel is? Give me a thumbs up in the camera if you know what a th uh, front to back cartwheel is. Ooh, Sophia knows. Camille knows. Very cool. Okay. When we do, a, when we do our front to back cartwheel, it's called front to back because you start facing forwards. There's your front. You're going to do your cartwheel. You finish, and you're going to face backwards, okay? So we went cartwheel going this direction. 
but when we finish, we're gonna face the other direction, which is backwards. Side cartwheel, you start in your X, and you face sideways the whole time, and you finish facing sideways. So the only big, the biggest difference is the direction you are facing. Make sure you're turning your hips to face that direction as well. You don't wanna face uh, forwards and backwards with just your face and your chin and your head. You want your whole body to turn facing forwards and then backwards. Here we go. Let's do five. We're only gonna do five on our good leg today. Here we go. Front to back cartwheel and facing backwards. See, my whole body is facing the direction I came from. There's one. Facing forward, my whole body, my hips are turned, shoulders square, facing forward, arms go up, not in the X position on this one. Here we go, cartwheel, and face the other direction. Good job, that's two. Arms up, kicking over. There's three, we got two more, guys. Here we go, kick all the way over. There's four, one more. And kick all the way over, and five. Okay, this time we're gonna do cartwheel step-in. The reason why I like to go front-to-back cartwheel before we go cartwheel step-in is because a front-to-back cartwheel and a cartwheel step-in are the exact same thing. The only difference is you're gonna go cartwheel, land on one foot, and you put the second foot right next to your first foot. So instead of finishing in a lunge position, this back foot back here, you finish arms up, front to back cartwheel. You're gonna finish with that back foot. Instead of behind you, you're gonna finish right next to your first foot. But it's not a round off. It's not feet together at the exact same time. It's only one foot down at a time, and then you place them next to each other. So here we go. I'll demonstrate for you if you need a demonstration. So we go to set up for your cartwheel, your front to back cartwheel. Cartwheel, front to back, feet together. No lunge, still facing the backward direction. Let's do two more of those, and then we are going to be done for today. Here we go. Facing forwards for your front to back cartwheel. Cartwheel, feet together, facing backwards. Good job. There's one. We got one more, guys. Arms up to the ceiling. Front to back, feet together. Boom. And that is our cartwheels for today. Good job, guys. Y'all are working hard. Woo! You are looking good out there. Keep it up. We're gonna have you guys back in the gym super, super soon. Stay with me, we're getting through this. Stay healthy, be careful out there. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.